Good morning. How are you guys today? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, this morning I'm going to show you how I apply my savvy makeup and the different steps I take to do that. So first I wash my face with the, um, oh my goodness, orange blossom uh, face wash. And uh, after I did that, I um, used the art toner. Did that. And then um, what I do after that is I actually use um, Manuka and I put it on any problem areas I have. I like it for areas that have maybe had a white head for a while that just don't want to go away or any blemish really that you have, but I specifically use it for that. And then I apply uh, two drops of frankincense in my hand and apply it to my entire face. I start with the areas, the treble areas here and here. Um, any place it might need additional skin boost, maybe a little cell regeneration, stuff like that. And then finally, um, or not finally, then I actually apply my Wolfberry Eye Cream to my under eyes and I actually apply it to just right here, like the crease down of my eyelids. Um, I wake up with puffy eyes every morning so I apply it there too. Why not, right? And then uh, finally I put the Art Light Moisturizer on and then I'm ready to do my Savvy Minerals. So, what I actually do, and I apologize, my son is here in the background, so you may hear him. Um, what I actually do is I take warm number two foundation, and I put it in, I don't know, let's see. I add, oh, I have like almost none left. Um, I put just a little bit in there, and I grab a makeup sponge. And what I'm doing right now is called baking. So I'm gonna apply it to under my eyes gently, if I can. I'm not really the gent most gentle. Um, and you can see my eyes are all red because I'm suddenly allergic to something. Um, but any areas that have redness, um, and you just kind of get it in there. I can't really see. And then I usually like to just go like this because I got an oily T-zone, so any extra powder I can get in there, I'll take. Let's see. Any underneath. Get a little extra in there. There we go. Cover up those trouble areas. And then what you're basically going to do is let this sit, ideally, for five minutes, but realistically, who's got five minutes, right? So you just let it sit and try to bake on your skin as long as you can. And just sit and you just kind of blot it on. So I don't know if you guys can really see that. Me in the corner there, you can kind of see. You just kind of like want it thick. You put it on the best you can and cover up those dark circles or red spots, whatever you got, right? Okay, then, let me do that. Let's pretend I sat and let that do for five minutes. So what I normally do is when I put that on, I um, go and brush my teeth. And then when I'm done brushing my teeth, I say, yeah, it's baked long enough. Good. So now I am applying my warm number three. Oh, yeah, you can't really see that's getting blown out. Um, I put a generous amount of foundation in there. I grab my foundation brush my trusty mist. Don't buy the Savvy Minerals and not get the mist. Uh, it's pretty crucial, especially if you're going to do foundation um, and blush, in my opinion. You kind of have to, this is not a setting spray. You're not gonna spray afterwards. What you're gonna wanna do is take your brush, one spritz. I don't like a really wet brush, so on the back of my hand, I kind of blot it. Let's see, can I guess you guys can actually see. There we go. And then I tap a little bit in, brush off, because you don't want like, you know, flying around everywhere. And then you just apply in circles. So oh, I didn't do a great job. I still got it to fly everywhere. And then you just, like I said, you're gonna get all the spots. So, see, I got an awful lot on there. Kind of bang it off. <laughs> you 
hear my son laughing in the background. We homeschool, which is, you know, new to us. We've never done this before. It's the first year. We decided to do it middle of the year um, for a few different reasons. And uh, so now I can't be in the house without him being right with me, which I guess is a bonus. Overall, I don't, I don't mind, but doing videos, it makes it a little more difficult. All right, so you see I can kind of add it. And you can reapply, go back and add the spots that you think you need more coverage on. But as you saw, I just did like this. You got to do this too. We don't want to have any foundation lines. We don't want to look like a girl from the 80s with that like hard line. We don't want that. So you're going to blend the best you can. I know lots of people who actually blend all the way down their neck and get like down here. Um, that's not really, sorry, not really my thing, but I'll do that for today's demonstration. You do want to kind of get in there. You want to make sure you, know, you get it right to your ears, right to the hairline. I actually think I'm going to add a little bit more to my forehead. Maybe a little there. Let's add a little bit more. So now my brush isn't wet at all. So now it's just a dry brush, um, which is perfectly fine too. We've already added a nice base layer. So that's okay. Um, a lot of women contour. You could do that. If you're going to contour, I do that next. Um, I don't contour. I'm just not, um, I'm not opposed to it. I just don't know how to do it. Maybe I'll take a class and learn, right? All right, so that's my base layer. It's my foundation. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a secret. I am 40 years old, and um, I never wore foundation until maybe June of this year. Ever. Ever. Never wore foundation. Hated it. Hated the way it felt. Hated the way it made my skin look. Um, I had very big pores, but thank you to Art Toner. Um, I no, no longer have giant pores in which you can like have vast cities in. Um, they're much smaller. And so when I first started wearing the foundation, I was like, oh, it's going to go right into my pores. It's going to look so gross. I'm going to look like those old ladies you see in the grocery store where they got like deep creases and mineral makeup. Well, now I take that back. Savvy Mineral Makeup doesn't do that. And the reason why it doesn't do that is because it doesn't have bismuth in talc. Bismuth, bismuth in talc are specifically created to make you use more makeup. It's also a filler. It's also a chemical. It's just, it's, it's no good, right? We kind of know that it's no good. Um, but, you know, if you're using stuff in the store, it most likely has it in there. Um, so what... So this, anyway, needless to say, this isn't going to do that. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to, I've got my veil. Okay. So this is the veil. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. See all those sparkles? I do just a very, very, very tiny bit of veil. You're going to put the veil on after your foundation. You don't want to put a lot on because then you're going to literally look like a diamond in the sky walking around because it's so shiny. That's it. A little, a little bit. I might do a little touch more. It's because we'll get there. And it basically, it blurs the lines. It helps, mm, let's say, hide those fine lines. And it sets your foundation, which I could have used a little more of. But that's okay. You get the idea, right? So that is the veil. And like I said, a very little goes a very long way. I have had this. No, it's not even. There we go. I've had this since June when the makeup came out. Yep. There we go. Almost a full thing. You need very little. You can use a little more if you want. Um, if you like lots of sparkle, the other thing you can do um, before foundation when you're baking, you can put um, the veil right here. And maybe if you don't like your nose, you could put it right here. I forgot to do that, but that's okay. No big deal. Makeup's still going to look amazing. Anyway, uh, what I do next is I grab my blush brush. I'm going to show you guys a trick. So I hated this blush brush because it was just too swishy. I put a rainbow loom band 
like, I don't know, a half inch up. I have no idea. I'm not good at inches. Um, it made it so it's nice and tight, like the foundation. If I could buy a second foundation brush, I totally would, and I would apply my blush with that. I just, I like a tight brush. Um, I also tried the contour brush, which is an awesome brush, but again, it's kind of squishy and not tight. Um, so I, I just made it tight. Some people just take their fingers and go like that. I'm just not that coordinated, I'll be honest. Um, so the next color, the next thing I'm gonna do is put on blush. And they got some awesome colors. I have both. Um, I do believe you're blushing, which is that one. And um, let's see, smashing. And oh, good, smashing is out, so you can actually see. I went um, to a competition for my daughter's dance team, and smashing is what she wears because I do believe your blushing is an old lady foundation. I mean, old lady blush. That's what my ten-year-old told me. Um, I was like, why is it old lady? Just clue me in. And she said, oh, because it's sparkly. I was like, oh, I thought 10-year-old girls liked sparkle. She's like, I don't know. I just think it's old lady. Um, I think she just didn't want to wear it. So whatever. So what I just did is I put a small amount in here. I did one squirt of mist. I keep forgetting you guys can't see below my chin. And then I blotted on the back of my hand. So now I have my blush on here. Let's see. You see that? No, it's really not catching it. Anyway, there's a fair amount of blush on there. You're gonna take it while it's still wet and do gentle circles. And what I do is I just do the front cheek part and then I drag it back. A little bit, little bit of circles. And then go back. Now, you can see that it is very sparkly, but that's okay. I like sparkle. If you don't like sparkle, then you want you're gonna want to do what is it? I always forget smashing. Um, it has a little bit less. Oh, I just dropped it. A little bit less sparkle in there. I don't know if you can really truly. I'll catch it in the light. There we go. Um, a little bit less sparkle. So that's the one you're gonna want to do. So this side doesn't have as much. So you want to try to make them even, right? Not just simple. Just. The stuff just goes on. So what I actually do with the contour brush now that I bought that and I was like, well, that doesn't work as a blush brush. I use it as like a mix brush, a blending brush. And you just make sure there's no hard lines. Mix it in, right? Get it in the areas. Since it's my makeup, I'll go like that. I don't suggest you do that. It's really not gonna blend in. Even if I went like this, that's the beauty of this makeup. It's not gonna come off in your hand. Um, which is pretty cool. I should probably try show you that sometime with the eyeliner. All right, so next up, we did foundation, we did blush. I'm gonna actually show you a trick on how I do my eyebrows. Um, I grab Multitasker, it gets too blown out, you can't really see it. Multitasker and then Best Kept Secret, and I mix them, so. You can get these little pods, they're called houseables, uh, and these are, I wanna say they're five mLs, that they might be small, it might be like a three mL. Right now it has rose ointment in it, so I can bring it with me wherever I go. But anyway, you can get one of these little things and mix different colors if you don't wanna do it in your lids. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Multitasker, and a little bit of Best Kept Secret. Mix them. I'm gonna get a little light brown. Let's see, I'm trying to mix it so you guys can see. I don't know if you can really see that, just a little. And then I've got it on an angle brush. I tap it off. I do this dry. I don't suggest doing it wet unless you want a very defined look. I don't like a defined looking eyebrow. That's just my style. And so for me, what I'm doing, the reason why I do my eyebrows is because I have a scar and I have hair missing. Nothing is ever gonna make it look normal. But there, from a distance, I look like, at least look like I have an eyebrow. <laughs> so now we'll do the other one. It's so much more difficult. 
to put my makeup on in the camera, but more importantly, without glasses. So hopefully I'm not looking like a clown. Maybe at the end you can tell me, you don't look like a clown. Sorry, there we go. That's a little bit better. All right, a little bit more. I'm going to try to fill in that hole. Now, another trick is our wonderful, what do they call it? Eyebrow brush. Silly me. Of course it's an eyebrow brush. If you brush your eyebrows all up in the same direction, it makes it a little bit easier when trying to apply the multitasker. Probably should have done that to begin with. All right. So there you go. You can kind of see that they're darker, more defined. If I had more time and I hadn't just wasted your 20 minutes, um, I'd make them more defined, but it's good enough for now. You get the picture, right? So that's that. That's simple. Now, I just got a little crappy e.l.f. angle brush. They do have, I just have to find it in all my brushes here. Let's see. <laughs> None of those. They got a ton of awesome brushes. Yeah, of course, it's the last one I pick. <coughs> this is the Young, Young Living Angle Brush. It's amazing, but I only use my jet setter on it. I don't want to mix a multitasker and then have like brownish um, eyeliner. So I just got a cheap angle brush that works fine for the eyebrows. The other end, let's see. Uh, I can't see where you can see it. There you go. The other end um, of their liner brush. It's pretty awesome. And let's see. Well, I'm on. Got all the brushes out. This is their blending brush. It's my angle. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. This is the concealer brush. I love this brush. Concealer brush. A lot of times, like right here, I go deet, 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 with the warm number two, deet, 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 warm number two, and then I grab my foundation brush and I'd be like, oh, oh, perfect, look at that, it's, it's fine. You can always go back and change and add things, but the concealer brush is really cool to have too. It's similar idea to adding it on with the blender, um, but I like the blender better just for me, it places it better. It's all whatever works for you. All right, so now that I got 1,842 different styles and shapes <laughs> of eyeshadow ones, we should pick an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna grab Determined, because I just happen to love this one. Determined is like a bronzy, sparkly, there we go, nope, there we go kind of see it there. Super, super, super sparkly brown. So I put a bunch on there and then tap it off. So here's the fun part. You're going to do your creases first because you want that to be the darkest part. Isn't it fun? You look like a crazy clown. Like if I was just a freeze right there, that would look completely ridiculous. All right, and then what I do is I go in afterwards and fill in. I don't go all the way over. Um, you can, you can bring it right down to the eye. I don't, and I'll show you why afterwards. I just prefer not to. Um, if you really want to get your creases super dark, um, or you want your colors, your pigments brighter, I'm just looking. Spray your mist onto your brush, dab it off a little bit, same thing, dip your brush in, shake it off, and it's really, um, it's a phenomenal difference. Um, and they stay even longer. All right, so there's my crazy eye versus my non-crazy eye, right? Let's do this side, and then we'll finish. I'll show you the rest of the steps. But let's just do the crease. Let's see. Really can't see what I'm doing here, so I have no idea. It looks pretty crazy right now. Looking at it, I'm gonna bring it down anyway. Lied. I lied. Oh well. All right, so then next. So you have a couple choices. Um, 
they have a, like eight different ones. Or maybe more. I've got like 15, but I have some sweet savvy ones in here too. So what I'm going to actually put on next is residual. Residual. Um, nope. There we go. Again, super, super sparkly. So add a little residual, tap it off like that. You probably don't even need that much. And then just stick it up here, right? Again, this looks crazy. But we're not done. But wait, there's more. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, and here's why I don't do it usually all the way over my eye. Because you want to put a dot right there and then sweep it over. And the reason why you do that is because it opens up your eye and draws attention to the corner of your eye and maybe not your um, under eye, let's say. We don't want to draw attention to anything that's not like it's underneath part, let's say. So it's going to open up your eye, make your eye look brighter, a little bit younger. Never a bad thing. So we're going to swish like that. All right, so still looking a little crazy, right? That's okay. No worries, because here is our fabulous blending brush to make us not look like a cloud. And you're just going to take it and you're going to blend the two colors. And there we go. Now I look less crazy. Um, you can see up close, my determinant is still there. It's just not a harsh line anymore. And then, so, where is it? Looking for my jet setter here. And then my favorite thing of all times. Oh, real quick. While we, I was talking about multitasker, gotta love the multitasker because it does multiple things. Not just eyebrows. You could also use it as an eyeliner. Um, would probably look really cool with determined. I'm just not a brown eyeliner kind of girl, but if you want a softer look, uh, multitasker would be that. Also, a lot of people have told me they fill in their moles. I'm not that talented. I would just look like I have a big brown mark on my face, so I wouldn't do that. Um, and then other people really like that like rum raisin look for a lip color. And because our lipsticks aren't um, as bright and they're kind of pinky or they're peachy and they're just not really your tone maybe, you can either lip line, make a lip liner with it by spraying your um, an angle brush, spray it with the mist, dab it here, mix it on the back of your hand, and then apply lip liner. Or fill in your whole lip. You got rum raisin, throw on a little bit of embrace over it, you got sparkle, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool, but okay, moving on. My jet setter, I love this stuff. I was really freaked out about using powder as eyeliner. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot of talent when it comes to this kind of stuff. It's just something I enjoy doing. So I was like, I can't even use a liquid eyeliner. How am I going to get powder on my eye? So you can totally take your angle brush. Oh, I'll have to fix that. You can see it's like flying away. Take your angle brush, dip it in, and then do your eyeliner, soft eyeliner. Um, and it kind of looks like pencil. But I'm gonna show you the liquid today. So I actually, one spritz of the misting spray, if I could just hold this properly just once, one spritz of misting spray on the back of my hand. I dip my angle brush in. Then I dip my angle brush into the jet setter. I'm gonna, you're gonna tap off any excess. And then, you're going to put your eyeliner on. You want to put it as close to your lashes as you can without actually getting it in your eyeball. So let's see. I didn't have it wet enough to get a liquid look. So as you can see, I kind of did a little bit much, but it's okay. Me again and just add it in. And there you go. I mean, you could wing it out. It's going to look pretty awesome. I'm not 
gonna do that today maybe another video and then this side now that I can't see so I have no idea what I'm doing doesn't look like it's taken so we'll just put a little bit more and as you can see that's what the back of my hand always looks like <laughs> afterwards you could also use the wipes the lavender baby wipes if you didn't want to use your misting spray you're like oh it's a full mist why would I do that um, you know I'm using up that misting spray maybe it's too much or maybe it's just too wet for you and you don't like it um, the lavender seedlings baby wipes those have a nice wetness you could also use also while we're talking about the seedlings wipes seedling wipes make wonderful makeup remover just make sure to actually wash your face afterwards um, you want to get all that makeup off the reason why if you do my skincare class is because at night is when your skin breathes heals and regenerates and if we leave this makeup even though it's clean it's still not letting your face heal and regenerate and you're going to end up with whiteheads. <laughs> so anyway, do it under here. Now if you want to do a smoky eye, okay, that better. If you want to do a smoky eye, you take this and you make a V down below your eye. I can't do it, I don't have any left. But anyway, you take that, you make a V, you take your blending brush, and you wipe it and it's like magic it makes a smoky eye it's so cool I don't have enough on there for it to do it but make sure to make the points mix points meet not mix all right and then last but not least you use your savvy minerals if you're lucky enough to get it savvy minerals say hi Nick um, what is that mascara Okay, so my mascara was actually one of the ones that did not have a great seal on it, so it's clumpy. And I was like, oh, that's so disappointing. No, yeah, I'm using it anyway because I ran out of my old one. Here's my old Savvy, Sweet Savvy Minerals uh, mascara that I loved. So what I do is I put it on. I've actually took most of it and wiped it off there and then cleaned it um, so that it's not all um, bumpy and junky and gross. And so if I do have, um, what are those called? I don't know, if it gets all messy anyway, needless to say, I just take off the little pieces and I looks pretty good. You'd never even know that the sealing issue messed it up. But I was just like, I'm not going back to regular makeup. That's just, it's no, not doing it. I'm not going back to chemicals after I've stopped wearing it. And so there you go. You could, you can layer this um, so that you have fuller lashes, but I've taken up enough of your time today. Um, one other trick I just wanted to tell you, you can take the veil, right? You put one year mascara once, which is what most people do, right? Oh no. You can do one layer and then dip your concealer brush into the veil and you go like this and you get the edges. Let it dry gonna take a few minutes then go back reapply oh my goodness ladies you will be amazed at what your lashes look like they look pretty awesome after using just one layer I don't know if you can really see yeah I guess you can kind of see um, one layer and then add the veil and you're like oh my goodness here comes Danielle's lashes down the street that's what you see I of course as usual I um, left my Maven lip gloss downstairs in my pocketbook because I bring it with me everywhere. Again, I never wore um, lipstick. I never wore lip gloss. I hated it. I hated the way it felt. 
I actually wear it now. I like the way it feels. It's not sticky. It's not gross. It just goes on nicely. So it's nice to have clean mineral makeup that goes on nicely, that doesn't settle into creases, that doesn't do any of the things that you thought mineral makeup did. So hopefully um, my makeup application was slightly helpful to you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.